So last night, the sixth and final episode of season two of Loki premiered, and today, well, I'm going to be reviewing about it. I will be jumping into spoilers, but real quickly, I do want to say I think the episode did a very good job at bringing the season to, well, to home, to the conclusion. I think it, like I said, did a very good job at it, and really, I think, covered what they needed to tell. I would say some things are a little more disconnected, but... Once you see it all together, I think it does work, but let's just jump right into it. The episode is called Glorious Purpose. Loki basically has always, till really season one of Loki, has always been about fulfilling his glorious purpose, wherever that is. And he actually does. Once he's no longer obsessed with it, he does. So, to put it simply, there's a lot of great moments, but... I think the greatest moment is basically Loki embracing who he is. Loki is the Norse god of mischief. It makes, at least in the MCU. And what does he do? Well, he destro- he destroys the time loom. And so, one, that allows any moment in time to exist. All the timelines to exist. And what is more fitting, what is more mischievous than that? Than having anything be possible. But then, because... But he still has to take up a role in basically keeping all the timelines alive from dying. So he does get his throne. It's his only throne. But at least his friends still get their lives and get to choose their lives. So that is something very neat. Very fascinating. That is how the episode ends. I also really do like how they have an after showing the TVA embracing change. That is probably not realistic of an organization like the TVA. Let's be real. But then again, there was basically... And, um, and basically they did show some elements showing that there was kind of a mini TVA civil war. So the fact that there are, you know, people who are like, yes, let's change how the TVA does. And it seems like their new mission is going to be preventing variants of he who remains from causing problems, from fighting other timelines, destroying timelines. So it sounds like that's what the new mission is going to be. Not not maintaining one timeline, but protecting all the timelines. So, these seems like they got a good mission set up for them. But I really do like... Because in the previous episode, Loki's time sipping was reintroduced. That plays a huge role in this. Like, he spent centuries learning advanced science so that way he could, you know... You know, try to get them to fix the loom quicker. But Victor Tommy simply realizes at one point that it's a scaling issue. There's infinite timelines, so there there always will be a scaling issue with the loom, which will always be a finite thing. And so what does Loki do then? Well, he thinks, okay, maybe if, if I stop Sylvie from killing, he who remains. Well, that doesn't go anywhere, though. He does get more mastery of his time sipping powers and also is able to stop time. And then he then basically he goes and talks with both um, Sylvie and Morbius. So Sylvie, right as, basically, as when episode 5 was ending, talks with her, um, for, and then I think that was after he talked with Mobius. Again, all this time stuff, so he probably had those conversations multiple times too, trying to figure out what he was going to do that led to his decision to destroy the loom. But he also talks with Mobius, and basically about the nature and purpose of the TVA, and what the TVA does. But obviously, what his conversation, I think, with Sylvie probably had more to f- figuring out what he was going to do. But also, we learned nothing about Mobius. Apparently, there was a time when both him and Rensay were going on a mission, and Mobius hesitated. Mobius didn't say it was him, but Loki figured out it was Mobius. Mobius didn't pick, didn't really acknowledge that Loki picked out. But this was this episode one, season one, Mobius. So slightly different Mobius. They didn't go through all the change yet, but like all those conversations. Brought to the point of Loki making that decision. He accepted a fate for himself, if you will. Um, he's holding basically the entire multiverse together. So it could be kind of interesting what's going on. But I gotta say, it was a really nice bookend. It brought things together. And really, the heart of Loki has been the character of Loki. What? No, basically season one was him learning to think more than just about himself. And this, I think, is continuing that. No, he's, he acknowledges in this season about the fact that he 
wants to have friends. Not wants to have that. He actually does have friends that he cares about that he wants to be with. Unfortunately, he can't be with them, but he at least, he also realizes that he needs to let them be who they need to be, who they want to be. He can't force it on them. So, he gives them ultimate possibility when, with his, his, his choice. Which is, fits nicely with, Sylvie's been the advocate of free will this entire time, and you think our Loki would also be, and he is, but he also is extremely selfish, so it's always been about him. And through the course of both season one and season two, he learns not to be selfish. And you notice, a big part of his, um, when he was using time slipping to try to fix the loom, he kept on focusing on the science. Of it, I'm bringing this back to to episode five where Loki realized the control to control his time slipping. It was the fiction part, the the who part, not the science part. And in this episode, he figures out the way to fix the loom is not the science; it's the, the story. Basically, taking control of the story and letting it do whatever it wants. In a sense, I think that's quite fitting. That it's a, the lesson he learned. And episode 5 is essentially what allowed him to fix the problem Zoom in episode 6. So I do wonder, how is the TVA being powered now? Because I thought the Loom was powering the TVA. Who knows, maybe they figured something else else out. But yeah, that's most of it. But one last thing I want to leave you with. When Loki, after he destroys the Loom, takes all the branches and basically keeps them alive and goes and so on. It zooms out and it basically is a representation of um, the Norse, um, I, f- I can't say it properly, but the world tree from Norse mythology, which is fitting because of who Loki is. And which connects nicely back when from episode 3 with 18, the episode 1893 where Loki sees the Norwegian display at the um, World Columbian Exposition in Chicago. And uh, the Grand Columbia Exposition in Chicago, and he's you no, know, you can tell he's homesick for his family. And isn't it kind of fitting at the end when he finally figures out what his glorious purpose is and embraces? I should say when he chooses his glorious purpose and embraces it, that the image it takes is that of him at the center of the wall tree. I think it's quite fitting for a Loki-focused story, and. I think that's pretty nice. And then it also, one last thing, it transitions to the after. That, then we get the tight thing, the thing after, after all this has happened. Transitions to a new post in the TVA, which says, uh, if I remember correctly, um, let's grow together. You no know, growing the branches, protecting the branches, I think, probably going on. So that is quite interesting. So essentially, the TVA has gone from a gardener who is meticulously pruning its tree to be p- just perfect to, you know what? Let's just let nature take its course and we'll make sure no outside influence destroys it. Which I think is another nice imagery it could be showing. But that is all I have for episode 6 and really all of season 2 as a whole. I'll probably do a compilation video of all my reviews so stay tuned for that. But I would love to hear your thoughts on both episode 6, Glorious Purpose, and the season as a whole in the comment section as well. And not just the season, the series because it always connected. Yes, I know people are wanting a season 3, but I don't think a season 3 would work. I feel like the story has ended. Maybe, you know, Adventures of the TVA kind of deal, but Loki's story is done, in my opinion. But that's all I have for you today. So thank you for watching, and as always, have a good day, ignite, wherever you are. Have a good one. Bye! Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like as well as subscribe to my channel and ring that bell to stay up to date on my latest content. Also, be sure to check out that link tree in the description as well as any other links I have down there.